I've got another Kingston unboxing to do. I unboxed their SSD Now V Series Notebook Upgrade Kit Drive very recently, and now I have the SSD Now V Plus Series 128GB Performance Upgrade Kit. So this is intended for a desktop computer, whereas this one is intended for a notebook computer. So there are some key differences. First of all, the V Plus Series is slightly faster, as the Plus would indicate. And next of all, it includes slightly different accessories. So rather than including, say for example, an external hard drive enclosure and cloning software, the desktop uh, performance upgrade drive includes, I don't know, actually we're about to find out what it includes. Oh, it does include an, an enclosure. Oh, and it does include cloning software. Wow. So it actually just includes more. It also includes a three, two and a half to three and a half inch hard drive mounting adapter bracket. It includes the USB cable that you'll need for the enclosure. It includes a SATA cable, which you will need to install the new SSD in your system, unless you're replacing an SSD, or rather, a SATA drive. And then you've got the Kingston enclosure, which is uh, just a simple, simple external USB enclosure. So you just kind of throw your drive in there, and then you close it up. And let me slide that on there. Yeah, you lock it up and then you've got just a basic USB 2.0 external hard drive enclosure. So if you're upgrading, well, if you are upgrading a laptop, you can throw your old drive in here and use it as a storage drive and then leave the SSD in your laptop because there's no reason you couldn't use this in a laptop too. Now, the main advantages of an SSD that uh, Kingston has asked me to mention are the silence, the reliability, and the performance. I mean, does it... Is there really anything else? Yeah, the capacities aren't as big as a typical two and a half inch hard drive, which is available in up to about 500 gigs these days. But I mean, at 128 gigs, you've got enough space to store pretty much whatever you'd need. And it's much, much faster. Like an SSD just smokes even any desktop drive, even in a RAID configuration, because it's all about the little bits of data that you're accessing frequently. That's why they're so useful as an OS drive, because whenever you do anything, it's going to be much snappier. I actually did a long convoluted video on SSD versus hard drive. If you put SSD space VS space HDD into uh, the YouTube search, it should bring up my video under my NCIX comm channel, pretty, pretty high up. And I show real world an SSD versus a hard drive, and it just flies. So this is, like I said, their V Plus series. Actually, why don't we have a quick look at um, what kind of specs we've got on this particular drive. Hmm. Huh. They're not going to let me cheat. They have nothing on the box. You know what? Why don't we find out in real time the actual difference between the SSD Now V series and the SSD Now V Plus series. We'll site and we'll just... Uh, key them in and find out what the difference is. So, kingston.com. Okay. Today we're going to be learning how to do important product research. <laughs> okay, so you can see there's the E-Series, so that's basically irrelevant these days. This is the old, uh, based on the Intel X25e. Then you got the M-Series, which is based on the Intel X25m, and then the V and V Plus series. These are both using Toshiba controllers, as I recall. So why don't we have a look at the V-Series first? So you got the data sheet here, and what is it going to tell us about it? Wow. My uh, scroll wheel is not working. Okay, here we go. So the sequential speed on the 128 gig is 200 meg megabytes per second read and 160 megabytes per second write. Uh, do they have any random? Oh, this is kind of a neat. They give you the PC Mark hard drive uh, hard drive score from 2005. So it looks like the 64 gig is the best controller is the best uh, performer out of these. Uh, the V series drives. So why don't we have a look at the V plus series drives? So you've got slightly higher sequential read as well as slightly higher sequential write. That's actually very impressive for writes. And then you've actually got dramatically higher performance. This I was not aware of. So it looks like the V plus is pretty much the way to go if you are looking for the maximum performance, whereas the V is more of a value oriented drive. Why don't we have a look at what these two drives actually cost on NCIX? I get a lot of questions about this. Where I work? I work at NCIX. It's a computer store in Canada. So Kingston 128 gigabyte. 
All right, let's see what we bring up. So we've got the V-Series Gen 2 128 gig. So that is at $249.99. And then the V-Plus 128 gig. So you're paying almost an extra 100 bucks for that performance. But if you're looking for the maximum possible well, performance, then you're going to want to go with the Plus Series drive. And if you're not, then you're going to want to go with the regular V-Series drive. So I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say. And why don't I just sort of briefly show you the difference in the... Uh, in the package for the notebook upgrade kit versus the desktop kit. So you've got the same enclosure, you've got the same cloning software, and the cloning software is intended for you to easily take either a desktop or laptop hard drive, so they've included a SATA cable, as well as their uh, their little basic two and a half inch enclosure. You clone all of your data over to the SSD drive and then just swap it in, you don't even have to reformat your OS. So this one, oh, this is weird. This one comes with a SATA power cable, and this one comes with a SATA data cable. I guess the assumption, I don't know what the assumption is here, but they both got the USB cable, they both come with a hard drive, and it looks like there's no hard drive in here anymore. I must have, must have done something with it. Maybe I left it in here. Okay, that almost freaked me out there, but yeah, it's just in there. So here's the V series drive, ah, next to the V plus series drive. And they look pretty much the same. All the differences are going to be under the hood. Although this one has a black label, the V+. Plus, so that probably means it goes faster. Because anything with a black like sticker on it automatically goes faster. I mean, especially black and red. Like, black and red, those are performance colors. So it's, it's hard to go wrong with performance like black and red. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Kingston SSD Now V Plus Series Performance Upgrade Kit SSD Drive. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe.